feel like if my mom saw me using this knife, she'd be she'd have a heart attack. <laughs> 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 How much time do we have? Cranberry down. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hi, I'm Becca. I work on the food team. You may recognize me from Toaster Time Machine. I am hosting a Friendsgiving this year. I just moved into my own apartment and I know my friends are expecting for me to host a huge bash <laughs> and uh, flowers aren't gonna cut it. So I'm looking for some kind of beautiful fruit and vegetable centerpiece, a little bit of a cornucopia vibe. Hey guys, I'm Liz, the visual styling director here at Good Housekeeping Magazine. I am responsible for all of the images that we photograph for the magazine, how they look, how they're styled. I have a background in graphic design. My job means that I can be anywhere from a crafter to a painter to a designer to a set builder. We once made a miniature bathroom, so it meant tiling and grouting. So you name it, I've probably done it. Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm the products and reviews assistant at goodhousekeeping.com. I'm not the best crafter, but I'm not the worst. Um, last year I made a paper rose Christmas tree that I'm a little bit proud of, but I'm oh not like gosh. amazing, so <laughs> don't. Keep, we're keeping the, expe the expectations low. Becca from our food team has asked us to create an unconventional centerpiece idea for a Friendsgiving that she's hosting. And what better thing to use for someone on our food team than all edible fruits, vegetables, herbs, edible flowers. We have a full bounty behind us of things to choose from and really excited to get started. Everything looks so beautiful. These colors are so gorgeous and brilliant, so I'm really struggling to think of what I'm gonna do. I'm kind of overwhelmed by everything. I'm very overwhelmed and I'm, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm gonna do. But I know I wanna throw a pumpkin in there. I feel like that's just an obvious thing to do. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of color and a lot of green. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Our 30 minutes starts now, so let's get crafting. I love this idea for Thanksgiving because you can like add it to your meal, I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I guess no one's really eating raw artichokes, but <laughs> right. the idea is there. You can take it home and make a cool leftover meal with it. Yeah. I'm gonna use this long one for that linear kind of rainbow effect I'm gonna attempt to do. I love that these are like flowers almost. This a broccoli bouquet. raw, yeah. yeah. A little bouquet. <laughs> I'm thinking it's gonna go from green to yellow to orange to this red, maybe purple if we're lucky. You know, I'm just going for it, you know? Like, I... <laughs> don't overthink I, it. Yeah, I don't have a game plan, to be honest. I'm just gonna... <laughs> well, I'm starting with a nice base. I feel like that would, you know... Height jumps. is good. Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't the most stressful holiday to cook for and prep for, I would say this would be a fun <laughs> thing to do like with your guests on Thanksgiving, yeah. but then I remembered that you're probably tearing your hair out already. Oh, I love this one. It's That's like, okay. <laughs> then I'm, I think this is like a turnip. Maybe, even though turnips are usually like pink, I've never seen them this, an orange turnip, how cool. Ooh, wow. That is exciting. That just, exciting. that just really, really made something happen here. I'm kind of running out of space on it. I've only done two <laughs> colors, so. It's like a little oh hair. Oh my God, it's so <laughs> cool. Yeah, you can make it like a face. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love that. That also is such a good combination, orange and rosemary. That just like makes me think of the holidays. I forgot we had skewers. Maybe I'll try to do something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and these beans are just insanely beautiful. Hmm. Well, I was trying to poke holes off the top to like have, I don't know, add some kind of green stem poking out. 
but I don't think the skewer is strong enough for that. So, so now I'm trying to go back to plan A and take out the stem with the knife. And I feel like if my mom saw me using this knife, she'd be she'd have a heart attack. <laughs> I took out the stem and I felt like... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I felt like when I was using this knife, I like heard the horror music just like... Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> but I did it. I didn't hurt myself. Oh my gosh. Mm. So pretty. Mm. My hands will be bright pink after this, but <laughs> it's okay. It's all in the name of art. My, I have a huge family. My mom's one of nine kids. So it's a huge table, well, multiple tables, and she makes uh, one for each, and there's usually a theme. So like last year, it was like a Dutch still life theme with like Delft and like, she's very, I mean, she's, a, she's an artist, so she's very talented. Our centerpieces um, growing up was always like the turkey, like ham. So um, as I grew older and like, like, learned that people actually decorate their table. I, ch I like would go to the dollar store and make my own kind of centerpieces. So this is why I'm not that creative. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This like, it looks almost like a little like gnome village. Garden kind of thing. Like, I feel like a little Smurf is gonna like right. peek behind a mushroom and be like, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. It looks so good. I feel like it's a Hawaiian resort. And it does. It has like a yeah, like a Polynesian right. feel. Mm. Need something else. But I committed to green now. So what am I gonna, what am I gonna do? When in doubt, use cranberries. You yeah. know? <laughs> Sprinkle it on. How much time do we have? All right, it's happening. Just shoving it with herbs at this point. I know what they feel like on chopped, but they actually have to like eat the food. Right. I would not survive that show. <laughs> oh my gosh, I keep throwing the cranberries in and they just keep like falling to the yeah, bottom. That's <laughs> my oh my gosh, okay. All right, cranberry down. So good. <laughs> this is my finished centerpiece. I underestimated how much space I would need to get all the colors of the rainbow, so we kind of went beyond the 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 bowl here. But I feel like the rainbow effect worked. I wasn't really thinking that the fact that you'd be sitting at a table, this probably looks better from overhead, which is maybe not ideal for Thanksgiving, but we did it in 30 minutes and it's over. <laughs> this is my piece. I didn't really have a plan going in, clearly, but I think what makes mine stand out is the height. And um, see, we were saying that the little greens poking out kind of is inspired by like crazy hair, like mine, so it mm -hmm. kind of matches. And I just wanted to get in as much color as possible, so I just kind of sprinkled whatever color I could get. Oh wow, look at these beautiful centerpieces. Love that whoever made this went to the extreme and poked some holes in some fruits and veggies and then filled them with other fruits and veggies. I think that that's really fun and a great way to uh, create a little bit more of an interesting centerpiece. Oh yeah, so it's on this like wooden stand which is cool i feel a little bit stressed about having to recreate that because i don't have anything like that at home um but i like the height that it gives this one is also beautiful we've got a little bit of a rainbow going on which i love it is a little bit more natural kind of like you've just gone to the market you've bought a basket of fruits and veggies you put it on your table you've got a nice bounty we are losing some asparagus here I'd be worried that my guests might try and eat them. Um, but overall, I like how they chopped the fruit and veggies in half. And I really like the way that they manipulated them here too. So overall, well done. It's a tough choice. 
but I think that I'm gonna have to go with this one. <gasps> oh my god! Wow, that's like, what an honor. I mean, to be on someone's Thanksgiving table, that's um, very exciting. It's really beautiful, I gotta say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, the competition was very, very stiff, so, but I'm very excited and honored. You know my favorite. Let me know what your favorite was in the comments below. Like and subscribe to GH, and thanks for watching. <laughs>